this is a second homework help video for chapter 4 for statistics. In this video I will cover the probability of two events A and B occurring or the probability of A or B occurring. So for probability of A and B occurring you multiply the probabilities together. Now the book starts out with independent events and then moves to dependent events. I don't see why you should learn something halfway and then have to change what you've learned. I'd rather learn the thing right in the first place. So here is the expression for the probability whoops, the probability of A and B occurring you're going to multiply. Remember from the previous slide I talked about that A that in arithmetic and is associated with a plus sign but in probability and is associated with multiplication. So we're going to multiply these probabilities together. So A and B, here's the probability of event A, but we don't just multiply the probability of event B since these could occur, you know, we're asking for these to occur one right after the other. We have to include the probability of B given that A has already occurred. All right. If A and B are independent, then the probability of B given that A has occurred is just the probability of B. In this case you would have um, A and B. We're using the word and, not the symbol. Okay, would just be the probability of A times the probability of B. But that's only if they are independent. Here is the general expression right here. So let's look at the probability of drawing four of a kind from a standard 52 card deck. Now we're going to have four events. So the events, I'm going to number them or letter them rather A, B, C, and D. Notation's going to get a little um, long, but I think you'll see how it goes. So I need to know the probability of A then I'll multiply it by the probability of B, but I have to take into account that A's already occurred. Now I'm going to look at the probability of C, but I have to take into account that A and B, that's an and, have occurred. And now I have the probability of event D, but I have to take into account that A and B and C have occurred. It's not as bad as it looks. What's the probability of drawing the first card? Well, it can be any single card you want out of the deck. There are 52 of them, so this is 52 over 50. Two. I'm just going to draw a card. Whatever shows up, now I've got an issue because I have to match that card if I want to draw four of a kind, and I'm assuming I draw them one right after the other. Okay, so what is the probability of drawing another card similar to the one that I just drew? Well, since I drew a card, I now only have 51 but I've already picked one of the four. Let's say I drew an, um, an eight. There are only three eights left, so put the three there. Now I want to draw another eight. How many are left? There's only two because I've already drawn two of them, and there are only 50 cards left in the deck. And now what do I have left? How many eights are left? There's only one card left, and there's only 49 cards in the deck. So that's the probability of drawing four of a kind. You can multiply that together and work it out and can find the probability of that using the calculator. I'm going to write the answer for that here. Here's what the calculator said. 4.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. Now, if you're not familiar with that, what that means is to get rid of the 10 to the minus fifth, this um, scientific notation here, move that decimal point five places to the left. That's a pretty low probability of drawing four of a kind, isn't it? So if I want to change that, there's the fraction. If I want to change that to a percent, now I move the decimal two places this way, and so that's 0.004%. Very low probability. You see how it was done? This is the important point right here. Now what is the probability that three of a kind will all be red? where there's no chance of that. I put that on here just so that you could practice. If it, can ne if it never occurs, the probability is zero. Now let's have a basket containing 12 red balls, three green ones, and two yellow ones. What's the probability of selecting a red one? 
one green, and one yellow. So I'm going to call those events A, B, C. And I need to know the probability of A times the probability of B, given that A has occurred, times the probability of C, given that A and B have both occurred. And remember, and, talk about and here, is associated with multiplication. So I want to say that again. What's the pro, okay, how many are there in the, anyway? There's like 17 of them, right? Okay, so the total number of available is 17. Now, if I want to pick a red one, how many red ones are there? 12. Okay, fine. Now I want to pick a green one. Well, there's still gr three green ones left, but there's only 16. And now I want to pick a yellow one. How many are left? 15. Now look at the uh, probability of selecting three green ones. So A is going to be selecting the first green one, B is going to be selecting the second green one, and C is selecting the third green one. So we have the same equation there. Take the probability of A, then the probability of B given that A occurred, times the probability of C given that A and B have occurred. What's the probability of getting a green ball out of these 17s? Well, there's three of them, and there's 17. Okay, now what's the probability of getting another green ball? Well, there's only two left, and there's only 16 out of 16. And the next one is going to be what? Well, there's only one left, and there's only 15 uh, balls left in the basket. So you see the difference here? In this case, uh, the probability of getting the red ball, the green ball, or the yellow one had nothing to do with each other except that once you've drawn one, there's fewer left to choose from, and so you see the change only in the denominator. Here, the numerator is affected as well. Okay, now here's, here it's um, computing the probability of two independent events. We're going to write it just as we did before. We want this event A, it's picking the green one here, rolling a four, is this event B. So I need the probability of A. Remember, we're dealing with the word and, so it's going to be multiplication. Probability of B, given that A had occurred. Well, what's the probability of drawing one green ball from those 17? Well, there were three of them that were green and 17 total. Now, what's the probability of rolling four on a dice? It, on a die. It doesn't matter which one I picked out of the basket. This is independent. It only matters about event B, and that's one-sixth. So in this case, we have independent events, and this is just the probability of A times the probability of B. Now we'll look at the addition rule. This applies to A or B. Remember, this is the inclusive or, meaning A or B or both of them. And again, in probability and goes with multiplication or goes with addition. So, or A or B, it's a probability of A plus the probability of B, and then it's minus the probability of A and B. And I'll show you that on a Venn diagram. So if we have, there's a Venn diagram. If here is A and B, the probability that the, either A occurs or B occurs would just be the probability of A plus the probability of B. Now we'll look at the case where they overlap. So here's A, here's B, and the overlap, which would be right in here, is A and B. So if I add up the probability of A, and I add up the probability of B, when I added up the probability of A, I got all this region. When I add up the probability of B, I got all this region. So you see, I have added in this overlapping region twice, which is why it's subtracted off. If the events are mutually exclusive, and by mutually exclusive, it's this case. There's no overlap at all. If it's mutually, mutually exclusive, then A and B is zero, 
So when you subtract it, it's zero. So it's, in essence, all you have to do is add the probability of A and the probability of B. That's the formula. Now this is just a thinking problem. There are five chocolate chip cookies and 14 peanut butter chip peanut butter cookies in the jar. What's the probability I will select either a chocolate chip or a peanut butter cookie? Well, it's one, because if I select a cookie, there's no other choices. And remember, the probability of one means that the event will always occur. Well, it's either going to be chocolate chip or peanut butter. You can work it out. There's no overlap. There are no chocolate chip peanut butter cookies in the jar. So this is the probability of, it, of A. A or B. Here's your formula, probability of A, probability of B, minus the probability of A and B. But we know this is zero. What's the probability of A? How many cookies are there in the jar? There's 19 of them. Five are chocolate chip. Peanut butter, how many are there? Add up the occurrences. It's 14. Divide by 19. 19 over 19 equals 1. So either way you look at it by reasoning or by calculation, you find that that probability is 1. Now the probability that a person owns a car is 80%, 0.8. That the person owns a boat is 0.03. And that the person owns both a boat and car is 0 0.12. Find the probability the person owns either a car or a boat. We're in the inclusive or again, so it's car or boat or both. But now we have the probability of A or B. I'm writing the formula again. Probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And we're not doing that to exclude A and B, but because it's been added in twice if, when we do it this way. So it's 0 0.80, 0 0.30 minus 0.12 this case the probabilities are given to you you just have to know how to apply them in the formula so when I add up these uh, of course you get 1.1 which is something's wrong with that because that's over the probability of 1 if I just add the 0.8 and the 0.3 but I have to subtract the 0.12 and so I end up with 0.98 is a probability 98% chance that the person owns either a boat or a car or perhaps both. Okay, find the probability that the person owns neither a boat or car. This is the complement. So the complement of A or B would be 1 minus the 0.98, which is 0 0.02, or there's a 2% chance that the person does not own a boat or a car.